If you've ever sliced up a model in Maya and went to pack your UV shells and they resized on you, then this video will cover how to fix that. It's actually pretty simple. It's only a couple of settings. Open up the UV editor, which can be done by clicking on UV, UV editor. As you can see, this is the 1001 UV grid. They're all too big. I want to resize them so they fit. Normally, you would just highlight them all, hit layout, and that would be good. But I want to actually set an initial textile density. What I like to do, don't know if this is the right way to do it, but this is the way I, I do it and it seems to work pretty well, is I go ahead and scale it down, position it. This is what I want this position to always be. And I want these UVs to be sized relative to this and then packed next to it. Seemed like a pretty simple procedure, but I had problems with that. So I had to look it up and this is the solution. Click on the first shell, which is your basis for your textile density. Select get, it says 186. I'll go ahead and set it to 170. Now this is the textile density I want for every single UV shell. You're saying, well, why wouldn't you go over here? Well, I could, but then it doesn't illustrate what's going on with the problem. So I have to make it a little smaller to show you what's going on. Select your other shells, click set. And now they're all sized correctly at 170 for textile density. Now all I wanted to do was just pack them so they would still maintain the same size, but be organized well. Well, if you hit layout right now, it'll change the sizes. Made them bigger because it's filling the space. And as you can see, it had also adjusted the textile density up to about 200. I didn't want that to happen. So it's fairly easy to fix. Shift, left click on the layout button, and that'll bring up the layout UV options window. You can also go to modify, layout, and click on the option box here. Get my window back. And the three settings that I change are initially I give it a padding. And then you have to change under shell pre-transform settings, shell pre-scaling, turn this off and then scroll all the way down and under layout settings, scale mode, turn this to off as well. And then now when you apply this, it'll create a padding, which is nice. And then it won't resize them, which is better. So select your meshes, your shells, there you go. Now, if the padding's too big, that's fine. You can just go back in, change it to 20 or 10 or whatever works for you. And as you can see, it did not resize this one and it didn't resize any of them. And that's what I wanted. So that's the solution. Shift right click into layout, turn off shell pre-scaling, set scale mode to off, and then increase your shell padding from zero to whatever works for you. I hope this helps someone who's had a similar problem. Thank you for watching the video.